Hi, my name is Terry Lee from Sweet Pea Papers and the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. This is video eight in our Shabby Spring series. We're using the Shabby Spring uh, kit from Victoria Designs. Now, um, today we're going to be working on page. What are we working on? Working on page six. And today should be a fairly easy day. I probably shouldn't say that, but um, yeah, I'm hoping so. So all we're going to do is we're going to make an envelope and then we're going to put it on this page here as a pocket. Okay. So we're going to use the good old envelope punch board. Ooh, I hope he's all right upstairs. That was a big crash bang. So let's set this aside. We're also going to try to um, make sure to have time to make that side card. Okay. So now on here, I want a three and a half by three and a half envelope. It says that I need to start with a sheet six by six, which is what I've got and then mark it at three. So I'm going to make sure the edge of the paper is even with the number three on here. Then I'm going to punch it. Then I'm going to pull this out, which I should have done beforehand. And then I'm just going to run it down the score line. Okay. Then I'm going to turn it 90 degrees. I'm going to put it at the three. And then I punch it again. I'm going to score it again. I'm going to turn it 90 degrees, put it at the three, punch it, and we're going to score it. We're going to turn it one more time, put it at three punch it and score it and we should have the right sized envelope which it appears that we do. I don't know if you can see the score marks. Now this gizmo has another nifty tool on the back side. <clears throat> These pointed corners you can round them just putting them in there. She says confidently. It almost seems like it doesn't come back up all the way. There we go. Okay. Still not very good. There we go. All right, well, that was just a pain in the rear for just that simple part. Well, the rest of it was pretty simple and only took three minutes. So now we're going to want to ink this all the way around, front and back. And I forgot to print it on two-sided paper, so it's going to be white on the inside. Should have printed it where it was cream on that side, because we are going to see the flap in the front. if you stick it on the other way where it doesn't open and make a pocket then you might as well just make a pocket. I mean why go to all this trouble if you're just going to stick it on as a pocket 
and not use the envelope part of it. Okay, so now we're going to fold this on our score marks. Oops, it looks like I missed a side. Okay, get everybody? I got everybody. Okay, so now we're going to fold it on our score marks. Use your bone folder. This will be our envelope. This will be our flap on the top. Let's open it back up and stencil it. We got to do something. It's white. Let's get our stencil out. Where did it go? There it is. scrap paper. Let's do it like that. Probably don't need to stencil it down that far, but I say why not? You never know how far you're really going to kind of see down in there. There we go. It's a little off center. Not a whole lot I can do about it right now. Now we're going to make our envelope. Make sure you keep this at the top. So. We're going to fold this and so we just and glue it. So all we need to do is glue this part right here. Let's double check. Yeah, it doesn't stick up past because we made a square envelope. Okay, so now we're going to score this one, or close this one. Now we're going to ink, where'd it go? We're going to ink all of these sides. Really it's more important to ink them going the other way. Except this one you're going to want to do really well. Or not more than you do the others, but just make sure that you've and I'm pretty sure I know what I want to put right there. Um, way under here somewhere. There it is. There's a little bitty stamp. And even though it's not on the front, I think that it would look cute. Right there. It'll also be a tab to pull up the envelope, and you'll see why. Okay, so now um, this was non-directional too, as far as like having text on it or anything, and that's why I chose it for that. Let's put our repositionable tape on here. gunk off our glue. You know, I really have no idea what the neighbor's doing, but he's been making quite a bit of noise since about 4 a.m. Which, it's not like I'm not up. It isn't that. It's just, um, then again with us, can't complain. I guess I shouldn't complain. Anyway, this tape allows you to stick and re-stick down something. So I just went around the shape. 
and it should allow us to close this and then reopen it and then close it again. All right, so now we're going to take the glue. I've already inked the little stamp. reminds me of a fish. I don't know why. Um, the glue I just closed. And we're going to put some glue here. So I'm not sure. How far up I'm going to go with my stamp. Think about there. I guess I should measure it against the paper to make sure that it's still, that it's going to be fine. Yep, that looks really good actually. Okay, so we're going to glue this down on three sides to make a pocket out of it. And then of course we'll be able to open it and put a card inside. So you want to put your fingers on the side you don't want to glue. I know that's so pretty. It seems like a, a shame to cover it up. A little bit in the corners so we can move it around a little bit. Okay, now this has a pattern on it, and I'm going to try to line it up using the pattern. This one corner has a, is off a little bit. I have actually had trouble where the envelope didn't come out at all. So I'm just happy that the um, envelope turned out fine. Now we'll be able to put something in here. Oops. And then we'll be able to use our stamp. I don't want to pull on it right now. We'll be able to use our stamp to open this, to pull it open and then close it. Okay, and it's been printed on. Let me ink the back of it. Okay. And that's going to be all for this page for right now. We'll probably put something up here. We'll put the card inside. We'll put the card up here when we're doing that. So let's glue this one into the book. And then the side card is the same really as the top card. And I'm not even going to show you the second top card because there's no need. You can just go back and watch when we made the first top card. Except that um, the kind of squeezing it in there is a little different. Let's get this here. Thank you, Cassie. Okay, 
and we'll just put that right on there like that. And that page is done, and I think it's pretty. Okay, it'll look even better when we put some sort of a decoration up here, and then put our uh, tag inside there. So now let's go back. How far? To here. Let's go back to the page we're on. Let me stick my hand in here like I did the other one. Make sure it's all opened up. It's so tight. Then we'll take this paper. And now this one's directional, so we want to make sure that we make it uh, vertical. Doesn't matter if you do it right side up or upside down when you go to put the card in, it'll be, you can put it right side up. Or upside down if you like, whichever is your preference. So if there's an end you want to make sure to get, then uh, put that end first. And then we're just going to mark below. We're going to cut it off there and then we're going to give it a whirl and see how it works. That goes back here. That'll be our last page except for our covers and then we can um, start uh, decorating putting our uh, elements on. Um, gonna have quite a few scraps too. It takes a lot of paper cutting to make one of these. Let's see if it fits. It does fit, but let's... And let's take a little bit. Oh, kind of nice to have that. Wait a minute. doing it off the top. See, you have to keep track of what you're what you're going about doing. I almost cut it the wrong way and ruined the whole thing. I would have had to start over. Well, I mean, it wouldn't have ruined the whole book or anything. It just would have ruined that um, writing page. Alright, let's try that out. I apologize if I'm off camera this time more than I normally am. Um, I tried to move the camera a little bit closer. Remember you're going to have the backing paper on there so you don't really want it to have to do that to get it in and out. So I'm going to take another eighth. Now, since I, what is it getting stuck on? Oh, well, it's too long, of course, still. Okay, now we don't want to cut this off. So we're going to put it in this way to decide how far in that we can go. Okay, 
I said, it's just right in here. It's just so tight. That's a lot better. Okay, so it's going to go in that far. I'm going to have it stick out just a little bit. Not very much. Remember, we're going to have a tie. I was going to do a tab, but um, I decided not to. I just decided to just make the card very small sticking out. You can always go back and put a tab on it later. Yeah, see that's going to be nice. going to fit well. Couldn't get a hold of it. So let's glue it on here. And we'll trim it. stuck it on the page. You guys have me trained. Okay, I'll just trim it all the way around. No big deal wasn't very much glue I guess right along here so it kind of stuck fairly quickly around the corners. Looks like I'm going to have to trim just a little teensy smidge off there. Make 
sure you ink it on both sides. Yeah, there's that little piece. real quick 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 I think we've been doing them from the bottom This is a fairly easy video, so I thought I'd give you a break from all those flips and flaps and such. There we go. And put this in here. our page for today and our video for today and so I will see you in the next video and that will be just a second for you and a day for me okay bye bye